So this is the part 2 video of access control system. So in this part 2 I will be discussing uh, the physical connection or how to wire uh, an access control system or how to connect all the components on an access control system. So my name is Irshad Kayam and welcome to our channel IPCS Global. So like I said the components like there will be a reader ok. So here we, we got a reader and that reader has to be connected with a controller ok. So reader will be a connected with a controller and a controller has to be connected with an EM, EM lock. So EM lock is nothing but an electromagnetic lock that is being uh, worked on the basis of a relay mechanism. So I will be, I will be explaining uh, what uh, how does uh, relay works in the coming videos. This is the just a, a, a single line diagram that I have shown and in probably this won't be the case if you look at a controller. So see behind the controller there will be you can see some sort of uh, male pins ok. So there will be you will be see uh, you can see some sort of pin diagrams like so you can see some sort of uh, pin pins like this. So probably uh, you can see 12 volt ok ground then WD0 WD1 these two are the you know vegan vegan signals maybe I will explain in detail about uh, the vegan protocol later ok and you can see uh, some sort of uh, RLED or GLED or beep so beep, beep stands for beeper and this will be there in the reader ok so and also 12 volt and ground so these these two ports are the input ports and these are the power, power out ok so 12 volt out that you can get from the controller so so this connection you know all these connections like you know this 12 volt ground GND I mean the vegan RLEDs, GLEDs, beepers all will be this will be uh, you know uh, connected by some twisted pair cables ok. So you could you could get and this will be connected finally to a reader. So this is probably the reader's connection from the uh, controller. So so it's done. So it's reader and you can get here it's controller. Okay. Now again we we will have this EM lock. Okay. So you can see some sort of pins like uh, again you will see an, an, another uh, column pins like uh, so see here you can see these and uh, these pins will be indicated by means of different color codes okay so you can uh, compare those colors with the respective pin diagram and then you need to make the connection so here also again you, you will see some sort of sensor okay. so sensor will be the then ground then button then you will see no common and see okay so how are we going to connect this electromagnetic lock with controller so that's the task so this 12 volt has to be i mean this is 12 volt out okay 
and here we are giving in once we give an input to this particular port obviously that will be taken out from this output port so from this 12 volt out i mean from the positive port we need to connect it with the common okay so that the common will get that 12 volt supply and also we know that this common and nc will be internally short and we will we are taking this particular uh, 12 volt from the nc okay now see this nc from the nc we are actually connecting it with the our electromagnetic lock so probably there will be some you know two indications like positive and negative will be there no need to check the polarity but you need to uh, connect the nc pin or nc port to the em lock and finally from this em lock negative port i mean negative end you need to connect back to the ground okay so this will be the uh, you know the signal flow okay and finally back to so thereby you got a continuity see here you will see this will be internally short because in under normal condition like a relay works like this now what happens if we punch in by means of uh, biometric or we simply show uh, RFID to this reader this particular common terminal will be jumped from NC to NO so that this continuity is being lost and thereby this electromagnet will not act as a magnet but instead it will be uh, simply a metal so electromagnet uh, will be in uh, under normal condition it will be closed like uh, the door will be always secured like it will be in the close uh, stage normally and whenever we swipe up a rf card or simply thumb in then this uh, electromagnet will be or the electrical supply will be released or you know the continuity is being uh, missed and thereby this electromagnetic lock will be unlocked and thereby uh, this is the uh, basic mechanism and see once we get into the cabin how we gonna uh, come out because you know the reader will be there outside our cabin so that is actually being done by means of this particular sensor ground and button you can see these three here uh, sensor means automatically you can by means of some sensing unit you can simply connect and for the time being I am explaining this ground okay so this ground and button so you can see this ground and button these are actually being connected to the exit switch so once we press an exit switch which will be placed inside our cabin you can easily exit button okay you can actually uh, actually uh, uh, unlock this uh, em lock again so this is the basic mechanism and hope you understood what i mean and see there are uh, some sort of uh, you know other uh, uh, more details about em lock because you know see em locks are fail safe what do you mean by fail safe see fail safe means whenever the power supply is turned off this particular uh, em lock will be unlocked so this is not at all a secured one right see we have another uh, lock similar to this em lock it is called electric strike so electric strike means it's fail secure what do you mean by fail secure so once it is being if the power supply is being turned off the mechanism will be locked 
So comparative comparing to EM block electric strikes are more uh, secured because uh, you know if uh, a normal guy who knows well how the access control works he can easily you know uh, cut the uh, wires coming to the EM lock and simply that uh, uh, EM lock will be unlocked. So this uh, need uh, this should not be happened. So we replace this EM lock and we fixed a electric strike. So the condition will be you know working vice versa. Like under normal condition it will be locked and whenever the supply is given it will be unlocked. Here in this case under normal condition whenever the supply is there it is under normal condition or without supply this particular thing is opened so you know that's uh, the difference between em lock and electric strike or electric latch okay so hope you enjoy uh, the video and uh, hope you un understood what i mean so there, there are much more about this uh, you know RF cards and all that different types of cards are there and, and maybe in the coming video I will be explaining that and also you know uh, the connection so the reader to the controller is actually uh, that could be possible by three protocols like you know vegan protocols are there RS45 protocols are there and, and ethernet protocols are there and I will be explaining this uh, coming uh, in detail in the coming part three video okay